everybody. Well, thank you for joining me on this very autumnal feeling day. I know it's only just September, but it, it feels like a switch has been switched. Now, this is a little bit of a rare occasion at the moment. I've actually been on the bike for a few miles. Uh, though, to be honest with you, I was just enjoying being out on the bike. I had a customer contact me, um, had a little problem with the clock, and needed a little repair job. So uh, I met them yesterday, fixed it back home, and then I've just dropped it off to their door. So that was good because it meant that I'd get an excuse to go out for a ride. I am still looking after my mum. Um, she's shown some signs of improvement, but not as many as the doctors would like. Uh, it, it basically, the problems now seem to be sort of to do with her stomach. She's getting some weird pains and stuff. And they think it's related to all the antibiotics they were on, uh, she was on. And, uh, well, to, to, in the words of the doctor, and I'm not kidding, she walked down the stairs the other day and said, yeah, well, we basically poisoned her. That's why she's not feeling very good. But she's not quite progressing as quickly as they like. And they've basically said if, uh, if she's not showing sort of marked improvements by this weekend, then they're probably going to take her in hospital just as a precautionary sort of thing to just observe and do some tests uh, so I don't know what's going to be happening with that so I don't really know what's happening with me but obviously as I've said before it falls to me to look after her most of the time uh, it's not a problem it just means I can't do a lot of YouTube at the moment but I know most of you are very understanding of that and being very supportive so thank you very very much especially to one particular person you know who you are and oh my god dude I don't know I still don't know how to, how to uh, thank you enough uh, I'm just go about to go and buy some potatoes. Potatoes acquired! So yeah, that's basically uh, what I've been up to for the past week. I have, as you've seen, been getting some videos out, but the progression has been mightily slow. But, uh, but it is what it is, you know, there's nothing you can do about these things, things just crop up, so... It has given me the opportunity to work on some videos that are going to take longer and I am going to try and make some more clocks uh, this week actually. I'm doing a couple of tour reviews and I actually went to record the, the first part of it this morning so I could then have that in the bag ready to use once I've used the tools for a bit to make the full review. And then but it so happens that on the day that I actually get to do it my next door neighbour's got wormen in and I have the sound of frigging saws and stuff going on outside my garage at the moment so I can't record in there. So yeah, that's just a little sort of mini update as to what's going on. Um, so just everyone knows what's going on with me and why everything's slowed down. It is it is a little stressful because my channel's been doing really well lately and this is the time to really push ahead and make good content and more people see it and it helps grow the channel. But unfortunately I'm kind of stuck a little bit. But as I say, it's I mean, what are you gonna do? If your mum needs looking after, your mum needs looking after. Oh yes, the first giveaway was done and that clock has already arrived with its recipient owner. Uh, shared some stuff on social media and so is he uh, don't forget there'll be another giveaway of either the clock or the helmet jacket rack depending on what you want depending on and the rules that apply at the time uh, there'll be a, a video at the end of the month I am not going to put giveaway in the title next time I am going to just have it in the middle of a video near the end of the month it's a way of making sure that the prizes go to the loyalist of viewers I was going to record like a little update video and then I have a separate video I wanted to do on a subject but I realised both are just too, too short to do on their own and it'd be easier for me time wise if I could just put them into one so I thought why not we'll combine them. So now we actually have some subjects to the video rather than just me giving you an update. Right so as a driver or a rider you will develop pet peeves the things people do on the road that you really 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 hate. Imagine a magic genie appears and he's decided that he doesn't like you much, so you're only getting one wish, you're not getting the usual three. But that one wish has to be to remove people doing one pet peeve of yours on the road. What is the thing that you'd like to see stop the most? I actually have my vote on it for what is what I find the most annoying, and it's not tailgating, it's not failing to indicate or anything like that. It's goddamn creepers. No, not those ones. People who get up to junctions and then start creeping as you approach. The problem is, you see, when someone goes to pull away, they normally creep, then pull away. There's no way of us on a bike knowing whether that creep is about to be fired by a pull away or them just waiting for you to go past so they can quickly whip in behind you. 
And the thing is, people will do this even when there's no traffic. I mean, if there's tight traffic and they've had to wait a long time to pull out, I can understand people kind of kind of getting ready, trying to block their side of the road just so they can whip round behind you as soon as you get past. I get that. But it's when people do it as you approach them. And the reason I find it so annoying is that you have to keep an eye on people anyway. But when it comes to creepers, you have to expect that every single one of them is going to pull out on you. And yet I know you should think that anyway, but when someone's actually creeping, you have to actually take action. Like most of the time it's keeping an eye on them and see what they're doing. If they're creeping, there is no way of you knowing what they're about to do. Wow, that was as impressive parking there. You got it right between the lines. Comments below, I'd, be, I'd love to know, because as I say, I think of all the things, I can stomach most of them, I can take them, but creeping, because it leads to people to people pulling out on you, I, it's the one I just would love to not have to deal with. If people could just not creep when they get to junctions, you know, you, you pull up to a junction, you stop. You look left and right a bit, and when it's clear, you look left and right a bit more, and then you pull out. Not this slowly, slowly, creepy, creepy, forward, creepy, creepy, oh, am I going, am I not rocking backwards and forwards? Or oh, I'm not really looking at you. I'll do that thing where I look left and then pull out right. It, it all fits into the same thing, and it's always done by creepers. So that's my vote, but what's yours? The one thing I can guarantee is not everyone's going to agree. Look at it. Love seeing that little car driving around. I need to go to another shop and I need to end this video. I'm sorry if this has all been a bit chopped up and incoherent. I am a bit incoherent at the moment. Oh, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. Wash your pet peeves. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.